Lego Solenoid Engine Part 4 Mechanical Throttle and Working Governor So now that I have a basis for the engine that works well, it's time to add some throttle control. And this will be in the form of a ball governor, which is driven from the main axle through a floppy drive belt. Those belts work really well. These belts are extremely sturdy, do not stretch, and they don't slip either because they're made of rubber, obviously. And here you see me demonstrating the ball governor. It opens a makeshift switch, which breaks the power connection to the engine. And here's an up close shot of the ball governor, so you can see how it works. And here's the ball governor in action. I added a little throttle control which increases the tension on the switch and as you can see the engine revs up. And when I let go of the throttle it immediately slows down again and you'll see the uh, bow governor doing its thing. There it was again. And here's an overview shot of me playing with the throttle controls on the engine. Now this does create a little issue that the switch tends to float a little, creating a bad contact and thus creating sparks and thus creating an even worse contact. Also this makes the engine a bit noisier and doesn't run as smooth, so I'm gonna find a different solution. So I'm playing around with the valve gear and I'm thinking, well, if I change the distance that the valve moves, it will also change the length of the power strokes. And here's the first iteration of that idea. If I change the arm between the crankshaft end and the valve end, then I'll change the distance the valve moves, and I can do this dynamically, without any steps. But if I can make something that moves this arm up and down, without changing the middle position of the valve, then this could work as a throttle control. And here we see the first version of that. Looks like this could work. Of course I also need to put a governor somewhere, uh, I'll just temporarily put it here. Not perfect, but it will do. Now since the governor is in a new position, I also need a new belt. So, time to remove the flywheel yet again. Speaking of the flywheel, uh, it's actually a brass gear from a clock. And it's an exact fit for a Lego piece, so go figure. Now here I'm trying some belts. It's important that they're not too tight, else you get too much friction and the belt tends to run off the wheels. And not too loose either, or else they'll slip. Yeah, this seems to work pretty well. And here's the first full version of the new throttle control. Again with an elastic band. So let's see how well this works. Oops! <laughs> so after some minor adjustments, the engine is running pretty well at low speeds. I'm throttling up, and well, there she goes. Running very fast too now, so... Looks good! you also notice I uh, changed the uh, throttle control for a wheel. It's a little bit more precise and consistent. Now the engine works quite well, but I feel it can still improve the valve gear a lot more. So instead of having the poles on two axles, I'll just put it on one. And I also feel that the two poles could be much closer to each other for much tighter timing. This will allow for longer power strokes and thus much more power in the engine. This is looking pretty tight, so let's test it out. That is a nice smooth gradual increase of throttle and it runs very smooth at low speeds and at high speeds. And here you can see the new valve gear in its entirety. Of course an engine without a load is no fun, so I put a little temporary load on there using the uh, governor. The new engine is handling this very well, so yep, time to add the governor. 
So of course I need to put the governor in a position uh, that functions well with the new valve gear. So I put it on this side, a lot lower. And my idea is to create some sort of, well, bridge between the lever of the uh, governor and the lever that controls the throttle, the valve gear. Of course I need to bridge over the uh, actual crankshaft itself and the uh, big end. And here's my solution. It's not perfect, I think I could do better, but let's test this out first. So here I'm checking its behavior with the throttle. Uh, of course the uh, governor and throttle are fighting a little bit over <laughs> control over the engine. And here I'm just manually stalling the governor to see how the engine behaves with that. Uh, sort of works. However, after further testing, I just decided to stick with the manual throttle control for this iteration of the engine. It was hard to get a good smooth control by the governor at uh, different engine loads. Uh, so, well, this works just fine. So, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, like or even comment. And I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.